This is a tragedy. A priest, Father Jacques Hamal, was delivering a mass, and ISIS came in and beheaded the priest while he was delivering mass. This is a tragedy. These things have to be stopped. Tragedy has hit in Normandy Church in France. A particular a church, a, a priest just finished up giving his, uh, his um, normal religious duties that he does there. And all of a sudden ISIS comes in. Three members reportedly of ISIS. But let's go there now and take a look. His name was Jacques Amel. He was 86 years old. The auxiliary priest had made a name for himself at Saint-Étienne, one of the town's two parishes. He was a familiar face to many. The priest who was killed was the one who married us, so we're very sad. He was there for my son's baptism. It's awful. The representative for Rouen's bishop says he was a man with boundless energy. He was always available. He had been here for 10 years as an auxiliary priest. He wasn't in charge, but he was always ready to officiate weddings, baptisms, funerals, and meet people. He was very active. Born in 1930 in Darnetal, northwest of Paris, Jacques Amel was ordained in 1958. He believed there were too few priests and that he could be useful. He was an adorable man who paid attention to people and who always had a kind word and noticed small things. He was really a good man. Jacques Amel believed priests should never retire. He vowed to work until his last breath. So you're looking at, you know, here. They put an out outright attack on churches in France, and we're seeing a hit list. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, Rick Wiles is talking about a hit list against potentially over 15,000 folks that they're putting up. Your everyday citizens are even on this list. You can imagine how media is on this list. And this is a, this is a tragedy, but it's what we've been prophesying about and what we're seeing take place. And this is a nun. She was actually one of the nuns that were held, uh, uh, was kidnapped by these ISIS men. And before, and she saw everything take place, and we just want to go there right now. This is, this is uh, Normandy Church, the nun that was taken, uh, kidnapped by ISIS as she saw her priests uh, beheaded on the altar. It's just tragic, tragic. It was fear, especially when they entered. When I saw them, I said to myself, well, that's it, it's over. They were so motivated. They told me, you Christians, you kill us. Jack had just celebrated his Mass. They took his place and they started preaching in Arabic. He was near the altar. They forced him to kneel and told him not to move. Jack loved all people, regardless of religion. That is all I can say. A faithful priest, a priest who loved everybody, who loved much. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.